ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chop Talk. I am your co-host. I'm Andre C. Right over here, it's the Broken Princess herself. It's Melba. How you doing, Melba? Uh, I am doing great, Andre. As you can see, my bones are on display. I wish those were bones. Um, I'm dealing with a pinched nerve. I'm having some fun not feeling my thumb for the last few days. It's what you get for eating around stuff. An obnoxious amount of stuff. Hoy. My sister has been up in town for the last little week, so we've been cleaning out a bit of a hoarder's house. We've been getting our exercise and steps in. We've been getting our health and safety in. It's been a journey. It's been a it's been a burden. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I get back into the gym on Wednesday. I'm Yay. feeling pretty good now. I was feeling a little lethargic because I fell off of working out for a couple of days, and I just shouldn't have done that. But I'm back in. I'm going. I'm, I'm back. I'm Yay. back. I'm back at full steam. So don't worry. I'm I'm I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but I'm doing good. <laughs> well, I'm catching up on pro wrestling. Just yeah, you know, been a good yeah. yeah Trying to finish yeah. up yesterday's New Japan show so I can hopefully watch tomorrow's two matches before we have to talk about them on the Japanese wrestling update tomorrow. <laughs> yes, yes. We will have to make sure we do that. Yes, I just watched the qualifiers from the uh A block, B block. What was it, the semifinals? Yeah, I semifinals for A and B block. I'm I've watched one of the A block semi finals and one of the B block finals. Still have to watch the other two, and I'll be doing that right after this. We're done doing this, so. Oh my god! I fell You're asleep in for last. A treat. I you fell asleep last. Treat. I fell asleep last night before I could get to it, so I was very tired. I've been up since five thirty. I'd worked out in the morning, then went to work all day, then recorded with you for our last chop talk. That was the Mel, <laughs> Mel Ball's RCW uh, experience. So, yes. For this Summer one, breakout. yeah, this is the Andre LPW experience show. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, uh, take us into your spiel before we get into the deal, my friend. Before we get into the show, I want to thank each and every single one of you. We really do appreciate all of you supporting us, whether it's Andre Melbourne Wrestling Talk, whether it's Backrigger Video. We really... What are you doing? Whether we... I was only pointing. I wasn't doing the whole hand thing. Anyway, so I there. know, because right. I've annoyed you into doing something different. <laughs> because we because we love you all and we want to thank you all for so much for all the support on both channels and all this and all the support you have given over Sunday's main event for all the Japanese wrestling content. Thank you so very much. If you are watching on the YouTubes, uh please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Please share stuff with all your friends, family, and kooky little people who happen to walk down the middle of the street. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you learn it every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. Maybe also Hello. hit the little people in the street. No, it ten just points. I, ten I, points. I, I live in a small town, so like you're I'm driving on all it, it, it's all residential roads, right? Most of like you know what I mean? So like there's no like set lane on the you know, unlike in your in the city. Um so you're driving down and people just walk randomly in the street and you're like, Hey, get the fuck out of my way, I'm a car, move, I'm a car. But it's just it's just uh. This is where uh, we're having the um, the horn say something besides beep beep would be great. Get the fuck out of the way! Move, bitch! Get out the way! No, no, just get the fuck out of my way! No, ludicrous all the way. Take us into the show, my friend. So we kick it off. L P W twenty seven slam. Unreal. But before we get any matches, I'm giving a huge shout out to our boy, our boy Ben, Judge Ben Omen, because he killed it with making sure those ropes were super tight tonight on that or on that show uh, there last week. Yeah. <laughs> ben, ben even uh, commented about us commenting on it. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, I can't Wait, hear you. What? 
Oh, there you go. I, yeah, he, he made a comment. Myself for the benefit of listening to you and not me kind of wander around and clap. <laughs> oh, no, Ben made a comment. about was We had comment the last show that saying the ropes were a little loose. So Ben's like, I made sure this time to make sure they're nice and tight. <laughs> and, and then Thank you, Nathan, Ben. Nathan turns to me because this is before the show. And he goes, make sure Ben gets a shout out on the show. And I'm like, I will. <laughs> Oh, Ben, always taking care of us. Ben, making sure everybody's safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good job, Ben. Good job. But we kicked the show off with our gauntlet match, which means this match is three matches. So it turned a six match card into an eight match show. Yeah. I mean, bonus. Bonus. We kick it off with Dean Richter versus Rich King. Let's go. This was a fire way to start a show. They have like the, a, po a pose off early and like Bedeen doesn't want to pose with them. Uh, and, and and then they get into a test of strength. Uh, Dean gets Rich down. But as, as Rich is coming back and power back through, Dean kicks him in the leg just like a jerk. Uh, they fight throughout. Uh, Dean does his corner pose at one running into the corner, poses up in the corner, then runs back, hits that beautiful hesitation drop kick. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, Rich ends up catching a kick at one point, slams him into the corner with a strike, hits the rising knee, hits a flatliner, and rolls into the Koji clutch. I love it. I love that goddamn move because that takes flexibility to hit a Koji, to do a Koji clutch because you have the arms wrapped around the head. Then you have to bring the legs up to wrap around the head, too. That is tough. Uh, then he turns it into a modified crucifix. But uh, Dean Richter ends up standing up, but Rich ends up slipping off the shoulders, and they keep on battling. At one point, Rich reverses an arm drag into a modified Olympic slam. Actually, it looks more like uh, Utami's, like when she kind of gets somebody up behind her back and slams her down. Yeah, it looked like oh, that. Uh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, it, it looked. It very much looked like that. Uh, Dean reverses the eight six seven driver uh, into a forearm, and then hits that. Electric chair into the German or otherwise known as Kreutz Wrath if you're a Kenny Omega fan, but only gets two. Dean goes to the top. He gets attacked. They fight up top. Dean headbutts Rich, sending him off top. But Dean Rich, or not Dean, Rich runs back at Dean, hops up to the top, hops up on the top rope, and then runs as Dean off of the top rope. Beautiful spot there. Rich reverses a Death Valley driver at the end of the match by Dean Richter and hits him with the eight, six, seven driver. For the win, Rich moves on, and he will be in the second match. He faces the Canadian Goose. So uh, Goose gets in. He's hitting the Bionic Wings and gets his double underhook DDT for two. Uh, Rich gets his tip. It gets Goose down. Hits gets his tips up, jumping elbow for two. He gets this uh, Lion Tamer style clover leaf on, look, which was really nasty. Uh, Goose came back with head, with a head butt and gets a corner splash. Uh, Rich comes get, ends up getting a final cut elbow uh, to Goose, but he only gets a, like a two count there. Rich hits him with the Olympic slam, but he's delayed on the cover. So as he's crawling back and gets on Goose, Goose grabs him in a crucifix. One, two, three. Goose pins. Rich King, which I was just, I was booing my, I was booing my head off for this. I, I would not doubt it. I, I would, wow. I, that was unexpected. Mm. Did not expect that at all. Yeah, I, I, wow. just, I, I was not happy there. <laughs> I was not happy. <laughs> I would assume what? not, but it sounds like Rich gave one hell of a freaking match there, though. Oh, he did. He was in control for a majority of his match with Goose, but Goose caught him in the end. So, but we went on to Goose versus Pride, and Pride rocking some new blue and blue and back gear. Looked really sharp. I, I really quite like the new gear. I know you got. I know Cat sent you pictures of that. I think I sent you a picture of it at 1.2. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys did. Yeah. Yeah. Goose uh, rolling up Pride a couple of times or right at the beginning of the match. And then Pride just starts beating the piss out of Goose. It's that flipping neck breaker that he does. 
Goose ends up fighting back, uh, attacks Pride up top, and he ends up hitting with a beautiful looking superplex. Gets those bionic wings, hits the Goose driver or the pile driver, uh, but Goose only gets two. Uh, he goes for the Blade Runner. It's reversed. It's reversed, and uh, Pride attacks him, gets the Dragon Sleeper, but Goose gets to the ropes. Pride ends up hitting a stomp in the end. He puts on a dragon sleeper over the knee, looking just nasty as hell. And Goose is forced to tap out. And Pride is your winner and your new number one contender for the LPW Grand Championship. What do you think? Interesting. Interesting. Yes, um, you guys did send me some pictures of the gear, but I think it was from what happened later in the show. Mm, I, think. I think so. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize Richter was LPW that night. That's why he wasn't at RCW. Mm-hmm. Dang it. Oh, Val. Val. It sounds like it was a fun kind of opener. For you guys, get four really, really great wrestlers who are really being pushed in every aspect of every company that they're kind of in right now. Yeah, you guys couldn't have asked for a better open. That's great. Uh, it, the gauntlet style is different. I don't. Would you have liked to? Well, we they do have the scramble match, so I guess a, a tornado style would have been a little too much. So I, I think I like the the variety of the gauntlet in there. What were you gonna say? I would I would have been okay with maybe like an elimination match. You see all four men in one match together and maybe elimination style. That would have been cool too. But I, I like the gauntlet style. It gave me like three distinct different matches, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. And it gave like a pride and an advantage with Rich did beat up Goose pretty hard. So it gave Pride mm-hmm. a, a good advantage at the end against Goose, but it was a really good solid three matches to open the show. Yeah. Also gives um, some some kind of kind of I guess a starting of a new chapter for Pride. You got the new gear. You got the number one contendership now for what has been a little bit of a dry period for him. It's going to be interesting to see uh, how he kind of goes forward with this, especially given what you showed me happen later in this show. Yeah, I might have something to show all of you at the end of this one. So yeah, oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again, very good way to open the show with those three solid matches. And none of them went too long either. I think the longest of the three matches was Rich versus Dean. So, yeah. So, we move on to the LPW Tag Team Championship match. It is Ryder Dies, Stephen Crow, and Taryn from Accounting defending their titles against Michael, Allen, Richard, Clark, and Jared Rogers. So, their second match of the team in LPW, and they're already challenging for the titles. I, I, that, and again, is, is that factual? Is that well? Their first match together was last month or oh. last month, so in at least in oh. LPW. But I, it's not a shot at the team because I I love this team. It's just more mm-hmm. of a fact of it's it's that's how, where are we at for tag teams in LPW? Because I I, I want to see more tag teams being brought in and being designed in this company. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. Okay, hey, hey, continue, continue. Yeah, so it gets uh, Mark and Jared actually end up taking the belts from the ref and pose on the ropes, and uh, Crow ends up attacking Rogers, starts beating him up, and TFA just runs over and just takes her belt from uh, my comrade Richard Clark. It was it was it was a pretty good scene at the start. Again, good good battling uh, uh, early on. Um, Crow ends up at one point gets a swinging face buster and a sliding Larry to the back. Looked really good. Uh, Jared actually gets this beautiful double drop kick off the top to both members of a ride or die. Um, Mike on Richard Clark hits a high, high cross to both members of a ride or die at one point. Hits TFA with the Falcon Arrow and dodges Crow. Dodges out of the way of, of uh, Crow, who ends up sentoning TFA in the middle of the ring. I was like, oh. Yeah. So the, the, the battle a little more. TFA ends up hitting a beautiful spine buster and then follows it up with, with the Yujiro Takahashi. The Yuzuro Takahashi style pimp juice DDT that uh, that from the kneeling position DDT, and, but she only get only gets two out of that one. Um, Mark, uh, sorry, yes, Mark ends up shoving Crow into TFA. Then he BME hits that beautiful the beautiful best moonsault ever to uh, Crow. 
Uh, Mark hits a Claudio Plex to TFA from the apron, follows it up by, and then power bombing Crow, but only gets a two count out of it. Uh, the end of this match comes. Mark's doing push ups on Steven Crow. TFA ends up kicking uh, Stu into the push ups of Mark. Uh, and then TFA hits Mark in the face with a title belt. Uh, Crow ends up rolling up Mark. F- my God, or my God, Richard Clark. I, again, this, I have to abbreviate for this man. My God, Richard Clark for the win. And my God, Richard Clark indicating that the tights were pulled and the ref didn't see it. So. And I'm coming right running this ma- match back. So I really enjoyed this match. It was a really fun tag match. Um, everybody interacting with each other very well in this one. Impressive. Impressive. You know, I love me some Yujiro Takahashi. Yeah. So good. When one of the more that... underrated guys in MGPWN. She... Yeah. When she pulled out that DDT, I was like, yeah, I, was, I literally wrote pink juice. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it is pimp juice because big juice is the the rising one. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That makes me happy to hear. Because like I really like Jared Rogers. Did he do his little head flip thing? That's always he, super impressive to me. Yeah, he, uh, he does that every time he gets when he comes into the ring. He does a head flip up on his entrance. I love it. I love it so much. I feel like he does it with something else though. He usually. Yeah, he does it with a something move. in the corner. He does a move. I can't remember. I can't remember if he did it in the match, but I know he did it pre-match on his entry. I'd love to see him do it for like a lot of his stuff. Mm. Like just do a head flip into a, like a lariat when he throws someone off the ropes or like head flip into something. Just into anything, really. It's impressive. I'm strong should, enough like that. You should head flip up and then do a move and then and then standing moonsault right out of it. Onto somebody, just do a front flip sure. over them and then moonsault onto them. I would love that. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Give it a try. Why not? Why not? <laughs> so we're gonna Why move not? on. We're gonna move on to the third match. The third match slash fifth match of the evening. It's Mars the Specialist versus Sheik oh. Shabazz. This was phenomenal. These- I don't doubt it. These two killed it, man. Like, man, Shiki Baby is so good. And Mars is just this undeniable talent that uh, we're getting to see. We're getting to witness rise in professional wrestling. This man is still very young and has so much future in front of him. And we just, I see this man evolving so much. Uh, Sheik actually wants this match to be for the clandestine title that, uh, that, that Mars is holding. But Ben's like, no, this isn't Thursday. And Thad's also on the outside going, no. But like Mars is like, I'm willing to, I'm willing to put the title on the line. But but Ben's like, no, this isn't Thursday. And Thad just yelling, no, this title is not on the line. Cause he's because Mars or Thad is holding Mars's belt at that point. Um, yeah. So they get into the match. Good, really good match. Uh Mars ends up sending Sheik out and uh then the drop kick him off the apron. Then just this beautiful tope suicida. Like he ran right into him and then just landed on his feet. It looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. I love um, those spots. Robbie Eagles is just like that. Does the same thing. And it's so impressive. As a point where they, they get back and they can fight for a bit. But then Sheik ends up sending Mars to the floor. And then knee drops him on with right into the ribs on the outside it looked really gross and then ends up like slamming him onto the apron pushes him in and hits that eddie guerrero sent on over the top rope but man that knee to the ribs looked brutal yeah i don't doubt it i mean shiki's always been good with those kicks yeah uh, shiki getting those long distance flying european uppercuts hits his suplex for two he then ends up getting a uh, inverted superplex off the top, which will look just crazy. Later in the match, Mars gets the boost psycho knee, but only gets two. Uh, Sheik slips out of the TKO, but Mars ends up slipping out of the choke slam. He hits a super kick, sending Sheik to the floor. But as he goes for the suicide dive, Sheik uh, ends up hitting him with a European uppercut to cut off the dive and then hits him with a huge pile driver in the ring. But Mars kicks out at 2.9. Nine nine seven four. Got to do the math. Um, Mars ends up slipping out of the burning hammer, and this is where Thad has been trying to interfere throughout the entire match. But Mars has been like, "No, don't do that." And Thad ends up tripping up Sheik, 
And this is where Mars gets pissed at, at, at Thad. Uh, she ends up booting Thad off the apron because Thad's trying to apologize to Mars. Mars and Sheik each start reversing each other. Mark hits this beautiful, or Mars, Mark, Mars. Ah, my words don't get to me today. Mars hits the Enziguri, hit finishes it off, them off with the TKO for the win. Mars, the specialist, is your winner in what was I, if it wasn't for, you know, uh, this, this was on level with Larry in thickness. And I think, Blaze and Island Angels were just a step above that one. So, but man, three the, like this was this match was really, really, really good. I love this. I I don't expect that, or I didn't not expect that. Seeing this match, I mean, wow, you had a great match. Mm-hmm. Right? And I didn't, and that wasn't even yeah. everything in my notes. <laughs> there was even more that they did. Holy shit. I oh, missed yeah. out on that one, that's for sure. Yeah. Wow. For cool. Character cool. wise, this was my match of the night because just these two just playing off each other so well. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. so good. The main event though was so much character work inside of a great match on top of it all, too. So we're seeing more cracks forming at this point with seven with Thaddeus and Mars. We had seen the cracks forming with Jack Pride and Mars. Now we see the cracks forming more, even more with Thaddeus. My goodness. Where is the glue? I, I never thought TJ Cannon. I never thought in my life I'd want TJ Cannon back in, in Alberta professional wrestling because I've booed that man for so long. <laughs> but You did. To, to save seven, we need TJ Cannon back. Like he, he they've been falling we apart sure since Cannon le- since Cannon's disappearance. So it's it, just can- like Japanese wrestling took a dip when Liger retired. Seven has taken a dip since TJ Cannon's retired. Yeah, or retired from TJ Alberta Cannon. wrestling. At least he's he's still going hard in Winnipeg. Winnipeg Pro Wrestling. He's still he's still doing really good over there. So I'm just saying. Bring back the glue. Yeah, we need the glue. We need the glue. We need the glue. We move on to what probably was my best oh. in-ring match of the night. These two absolutely tore the place down. Michael Richard Blaze was Allen Angels for the LPW Challenge Championship. MR Bree off the top. Shotgun dropkick or John Wood dropkick, whatever you want to call it. Off the hop, sending Allen Angels into the corner. He starts beating the hell out of him. Alan just coming comes back, beating the hell out of him or B. And now Alan he just gets a small package for two. At one point, he hits a beautiful half and half suplex for two. I was like, oh yes, uh, Trent Beretta style. Oh, I loved it. Uh, Blaze at one point flips over Alan. Uh, Alan Angel's coming out of the corner, but then Angel's hits this beautiful BME out of the corner for two. Blaze comes right back with that that insane spine buster that he does. Uh, these two were going move for move, and it was just utter perfection. Um, Alan catches MRB off the top into a figure four. Uh, uh, this Oh, sorry. Before that, he was just dragon screwing the shit out of Michael Richard Blaze, and then he caught him into a figure four. It was great, but Blaze does get the ropes. Uh, Blaze ends up pulling Angels off the top, takes him off the top, and... Ghost old school hitting his kneecap brain buster. I was like, yes! I was so excited. He hasn't done that move in so long, that kneecap brain buster. I was like, yes, he brought it back. Um, Blaze uses the ref and, like, just like using the ref to block Angels. Tries to get Gates of Salvation, but Alan Angels gets a Romero special. Oh, yeah. You got a Romero special on Blaze. But plays gets to the ropes. Yeah, I was super excited. I'm like, that's a real special. <laughs> oh, I was excited to see I it. I could only imagine you did that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Blaze ends up pulling at the apron. The ref pushes it back into place. And Al- and this is where Blaze kicks Alan Angels in the penis and gets it too. It's just not nice. Don't kick people there. It's not nice. I love you, Blaze, but it's not nice. Uh, Blaze gets Alan on his shoulders. Cli- he climbs up to the second rope, but Alan Angels fights him off and knocks him off the top and then hits a frog splash uh, and then gets a single leg Billy Goat's curse. But uh, Crow is, comes out 
Uh, Allen Angels, let's go. Blaze tries to use uh, the LBW tag title that was given to him, but Allen Angels gets it, and he ends up hitting Blaze with it. And then Crows hits Ain't because uh, Blaze got the title from TFA. So this is the title that he hit Blaze with. Then Crow comes in with the rep distracted and hits Angels. Uh, and but uh, it hits with it, and it just, just, just crazy. Uh, but Angels fights back, hits the Angels' wings to Blaze. Um, but this is where TFA rolls over and puts Blaze's foot on the ropes. And I'm just like, oh my god, this is just it's just go, it's just pure insanity. Allen Angels chases off TFA, but he ends up getting caught by Blaze, and Blaze hits him with the final consecration or toasted bagel if you're nasty for the win. Michael Richard Blaze still. Your LPW Challenge Championship, but this match was insane. It's going. It's going to be. It's going to be on my list for indie matches of the year. These two killed it. I immediately forgot we were doing that, and I feel like you remind me every single time we do a show, and I'm like, well, yeah, I should probably take put that into consideration in my notes. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I really want to do the show just for the Jason Rutledge Award. That's the that's my driving force behind that show now. Is the Jason? It Rutledge. really is. <laughs> and then I didn't even get to see him. He was at the LPW show, not the RCW show. To be fair, though, I mean, I did get my sister pretty drunk on like half the cost. <laughs> so who true. really won there? Right. It was a tie. It was a tie. <laughs> Sounds like this was a really awesome match, man. Disappointed I missed it. Yeah, Alan Angels, and and it, he's indicating he will be back again. So like, but the right. dude is the dude is so good, and I I think the best thing this guy did was leave AEW and go to TNA because it gave him such an opportunity to really expand uh, who he is as a personality, and he's really come into his own that way, and has gotten far more upper echelon opportunities in the X division and stuff in TNA. So it's give it, it obviously AEW has a farther reach, but it just, he's so much higher profile. I, and now with TNA's little working relationship with uh, w, WWE and NXT, I'd love to see them pull Alan, Alan angels in for a match on NXT. Give him that spotlight. I'd love to see it. Hey, it could happen. It could happen. Yeah. Let's cross our fingers and everything else. Yeah. So we move on. It went to intermission. We came back with the LPW Scramble Championship. It is Zoe Sager, Wolf Boy Will Mantna, and Riley Cruz challenging T.Y. Jackson. Just crazy start. Everybody's battling with everybody. T.Y. gets uh, Cruz and Wolf Boy to the floor and hits a beautiful to dive over the top to the floor. Um. There's a spot where Wolf Boy's against the ropes and TY's holding him. Like TY's against the ropes, holding Wolf Boy, and Zoe comes up to go for oblivion, but Wolf Boy moves away. And this where TY just grabs Zoe and just slams her to the mat to block out the oblivion. Looked so good. Yeah. Um uh, 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 uh Riley Cruz ends up getting this really cool springboard rough rider. Um, for two, it looked really good. Um, Cruz, uh, uh drop. Pardon? What is that? Um, it's a uh, Zach Ryder's finish where he runs up and like leg jumps up in the air and like leg drops somebody's face, like to the face, driving them into bring them down into the mat. But I, oh, okay, yeah. okay, I didn't know that's what it was called. Yeah. No, sorry. That was, I think it was TY2 Cruz. I apologize. But yeah. And then he had just hit in the O face to, to Will, the Wolf Boy right before it. Um, Cruz ends up dropping TY at one point, he hits the Encore, which is his corkscrew sent on off the top for two. Uh, Zoe hits a scorpion kick to Cruz at one point, then finishes it with a halluva kick in the corner, then that running knee. But then Wolf Boy, Will, Wolf, Wolf Boy breaks up the pin. Um, it was beautiful assistant springboard Rana by uh Wolf Boy to TY uh from the apron, then hits a 6 1 9. Again, just just crazy stuff going on throughout the match. Zoe hits a 
gorgeous looking trouble in paradise to cruise for two uh zoya versus ty into a code red but uh wolf boy super kicked zoe to stop the pin it was just like he just kicked her in the face to stop the pin it looked great um zoe gets a john woo slash shotgun drop kick to ty hits a jawbreaker to cruise then hits the oblivion to, to ty and then uh just just such good stuff uh in the match comes ty goes to the top gets crotched by zoe she comes goes up and we get this weird ass tower of doom attempt but zoe fights off uh wolf boy and, and riley cruz drop kicks wolf boy off the top rope hits a springboard z factor to Riley Cruz, but T.Y. ends up coming off the top. At, like She hits the springboard into the Z-factor and then ends up fall, kind of going backwards, and T.Y. comes off the top, swantons her, and pick, pins her for the win. Great match. Great match. These guys, like, everybody works so well together. You know these scramble matches are the matches I look forward to the most when I go to LPW. It sounds like I missed a really fracking good one. God damn. You the way you were talking, I was like, is, is Zoe a Grand Slam champion? Not no. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> like, the way you were you were going up to it, I was like, oh shit. She's a Grand Slam champion. Not quite. Not quite. That's freaking cool. Sounds like a great match, man. That makes me really, well, really happy. I I don't I I felt like I had seen Riley Cruz. At RCW, but maybe I saw his doppelganger. I don't know. Yeah. I swear I saw him in the parking lot. It, it, I, because this match would have been like around the nine o'clock mark when it started. So, yeah, that's about the time this one started at. I don't know when you saw him in the parking lot, but I'm, I'm feeling like it was after. RCW show? I don't know. Maybe I, I'm I, also just, you know, crazy. I have been dealing with a lot of pain and pain medication lately, so. There might have been not. a person We're... just happened to look like him. Hey, you never know. Like I said, it could have been his doppelganger. We're way yeah. off topic here. I love Wolf Boy. I love seeing his content on TikTok. If you don't follow him, please go follow him. He is endlessly entertaining. Putting out promos, showing off his skills, showing off where he's going, all the things he's doing. I actually genuinely enjoy looking at his content. It makes me happy to see. Um, it makes me happy to see him getting these opportunities as well. Going into the scramble matches with some some incredible wrestlers like T.Y. and Zoe. Like, holy hecking crap. What a, what a match I missed. I'm sad. You really did. It really did. But we move on to the main event of the evening. It is for the LPW Grand Championship. It is ch your champion, Lumberjack, Larry Woods, versus the, thick Larry. the thickness, Reed Matthews. Um, so the start of the match, Larry gets the arm, and the crowd starts chanting, break his arm, break his arm. But then thickness reverses, getting the arm of Larry, and the crowd starts chanting, we meant Larry, we meant Larry. Oh my god, it was so good. Of course was... you guys did. Of course you did. Oh, that was it. that was um Jason and his crew chanting that. And I me and me and Oh sure, sure. No, it, no, me me uh, I I me our table joined in on it, but those guys were coming <laughs> up with it and it was great. Um <sighs> yeah, there was great spots. Uh they uh Larry Larry ends up getting uh, thickness out to the floor, hits a tope suicida. Looked really good. Uh, thickness gets a, catches the leg and the uh, a kick in the ring and hits his leg trap suplex for two. Um, Larry goes for a springboard, like goes to springboard off into something, but thickness just catches him and smashes him into this German. Looked so good and got a two count out of it. They fought out onto the stage at one point, and uh, they're fighting back and forth. Larry ends up hitting a flapjack to Thickness, where he just, like, lifts him up and, like, slams, and go he goes face first into the stage. Just wham! Like, the 3D, but without the guy hitting the cutter, is what he did to him on the stage. It looked it looked really good. Um, yeah. Back in the ring, 
Uh, Larry gets the Green Bay plunge and then hit follows it up with a side effect, but he's delayed on getting the cover, so he only gets two. Uh, Larry misses the leg drop. Uh, thickness is where thickness gets uh, Larry seated in the corner. Hits a beautiful cannonball for two. Uh, Larry does this really great spot where he reverses the Blue Thunder bomb into a Hurricane Rana. It looks really good. Uh, Larry ends up on the floor. Thickness goes for a low pay, but Larry dodges and Thickness just goes crashing into the chairs. Like, <laughs> they look brutal. Ooh. Oh, I mean, I, ouch. Jesus. Yeah. He literally did a suicide dive to the chairs. Jesus. Oh, it was Dang. great. So Larry Dying gets thickness. Thickness. Yeah. Larry gets thickness back inside, hits the top rope leg drop, but only gets two because again it was a, he was delayed on getting the cover. Um thickness stops the, the saw maker and hits a rolling elbow and that just vicious knee for two. Thickness goes to the top and he busts out a move I haven't seen him do before. Just comes out, comes off the top, just spinning and ends up hitting this like corkscrew splash uh to Larry, but only gets a two. Uh, dude, it looked great. Just he just came off the top, just spinning like a just which like wee bam, and it landed. You'll on have it. to consult your inside sources to find out what the name of that is. I'm sure he has a name for it. Yeah. Uh, towards the end of the match, sickness stops the saw maker with a boot, hits a blue thunder bomb, but again can only get two. Uh, he goes for another cannonball, but Larry dodges out of the way. He hits kicks. It hits a super kick. Thickness stops the saw maker, but Larry reverses. He gets Larry, he gets Larry up, but Larry reverses in, gets back into the saw maker, hits it, hits another one, two, three. Lumberjack Larry Woods retains the LPW Grand Championship, and then after the match, there was a respect moment between Thickness and Larry. Yeah. There was. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So something I wanted to ask, because I don't recall you mentioning it. Um, was Zoe accompanied to the ring by thickness in her match? I was didn't see thickness him. Thickness accompanied to the ring by Zoe. I didn't see him. I didn't see I didn't see the with the other quite so demise of, of that kind of storyline, and that's okay because Zoe has been leaning a bit more to the face side of things with thickness kind of firmly staying on the neutral heel kind of side of the fence. Would you say that that's accurate? Yeah, because like thickness can play a good guy when he has to, but he is generally more considered a bad guy. Um, mm -hmm. he is that where Zoe's really been moving over to that almost reluctant good guy vase where she's still trying to be all heelish but she's getting mm -hmm. cheered yeah i mean i personally feel she does better as a face i know it's all more fun and whatever to be a heel mm. but for her i mean it's it's the same thing like relatable don't like playing the that we, we prefer to play the bad guy, but the good person is just what everyone else kind of sees. And I kind of feel that she does better like that. Um, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Sounds like I missed a great main. I always love seeing the thickness. His personal favorite of mine might be a little biased. Glad to hear you got a cannonball. Love that cannonball. Mm. Um, Sawmaker, though, that is really kind of a game changer. That and Larry's Bolt. Bald spot. There was a ball. There is bald spot chain off the start off the start of the show. Of course there was. Yeah. Of course there was. Where they locked up. And you he's just to like, tips. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh right. The... Yay. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Uh, there was something yeah. else that happened after this, wasn't there? Yes. So post match, uh, after the show of respect, uh between um Thickness and Larry Pride makes his way out to the ring with set with seven with that with uh Mars the Specialist. And I pulled I got some video, I found some video on Mars the Specialist page that he put out of the post match stuff. So I'm gonna play it. 
I'm going to put it here. Um, LPW, if you don't like it, I will cut this part out. Uh, yeah, and we'll talk about it after, I guess. So I'm going to put that there. I know it's not the best. I just got what I can. So here we go. Tell me if you can hear, Mel. Versus Lumber Jack Larry Woods. One more time for the Grand Championship. You will lose again. Trust me. That happened. <laughs> Seven that has happened. imploded and died. Uh, has it though? Well, Seven's existed a has lot longer it? than the Seven that we. I seen, was so. gonna say, tran- Seven kind of transcends space and time, you know. So long as Jack Pride exists, so does Seven. But this yeah, is this- not. This this version of Seven may have imploded, but we still have Thaddeus there. We still hypothetically could get the glue back in, in TJ Cannon. You know, there's room for addition. There's room for expansion. You know, LPW kind of has a, a knack for bringing in talent. Maybe they could find a new member. You know, yeah. this variation could be done, but... You know, I mean, there's that Diablo quote, you know, there's always that good and evil. We're always going to choose evil. The seven sins always remain. That's going to be great. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited for this. LPW 28 at the end of July. I think it's on July 26th. I, I, shit, I still have to buy my ticket. Crap, crap, crap. I need something to buy. I still need to get tickets for this. I'll, I'll take care of that tomorrow. But yeah, um. I'm excited. This match is going to be insane. This main event looks like it's going to be straight fire. I am ready for this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the yes. All the yes. I'm looking forward because Pride likes to to kind of speak out about these kind of big kind of matches that he's having. I'm curious to see what he says, and I'm curious to see what Larry and Mars's response, if any, is to uh, Pride because we know Pride can't stay quiet, and he he shouldn't. I enjoy his content when he does put it out. Yeah. So we did have two, at this point, uh, two other matches have been announced for LPW 20 that I do want to just quickly uh, shout them out here. Smiley, Kylie Ray, former AEW superstar and current independent wrestling star, uh, will be coming in to face Zoe Sager next month. I'm looking forward to this. I am a big fan of Smiley mm-hmm. Kylie Ray. And Zoe Sager has been just killing it. So I can't wait to see these two tangle, tangle up here, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It'll be very, very interesting to see. Kylie is definitely that extreme face. Zoe's kind of walking that line. I'll be curious to see which line, side of the line she steps on. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. And then for your LPW Challenge Championship, it is oh, Michael oh, 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 oh. Richard Blaze. Versus TNA, new TNA superstar, 
Judas Icarus, let's go! Oh, this is going to be a fucking killer match. That's going to be great. I love that kid. He's the sinner, right? He, it, are you sure? I don't know. You think Travis Williams is a saint? I don't know. Based on how the two wrestle, yeah. He kind of takes a bit of a darker, hunchy persona. Whereas Travis Williams kind of looks a little bit more innocent. Yeah, but he was... He's kind of, he was a jerk for so long. He's definitely no saint. I mean, everyone was not so nice at some point, Andre. Except it's me. a story of redemption. Bullshit. It's a story of redemption. Maybe he found saintlyhood in professional wrestling. We're yeah. not here to debate that. We're here to debate this. This is going to be freaking great. Oh, I cannot wait to see this. This is going to just kill it. This is one of those guys who you don't quite like because oh. he doesn't wear boots. Yeah, I was going to say, I just remembered the shoes. I'm going to have such anxiety for his toes. Oh, yeah. Ah. But gosh great, darn, though. was that a phenomenal car. Uh, like, a phenomenal show, and they've already set up three phenomenal matches for next month. I am super excited for that. Yay. 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 I'm excited, too. Yeah. And I'm going to be at this one. He will. He will. He will be joining me because we're going to help. I think we're going to RCW the weekend before. Yeah. yeah. 19th, I think for the Hungarian show. Yeah. The Hungarian show. I think. So yeah, yeah. I, I can't, I can't wait for this. It's going to be so much fun to see this. Smiley Kylie Ray, Judas Sicker is coming in. I am so excited for this show. A crazy three way main event. That's going to just, the this, this show is going to tear it down, man. Yes. hundred percent. hundred percent. But we have come to the end of another episode of Chop Talk. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us. You can find me on the X at that Canada guy, TikTok, Instagram, and Threads at that Canada dude. You can find me on, oops, that's you can find me on Facebook at Andre and Melball Wrestling Talk, or right here on our YouTube page, YouTube.com/slash at Andre and Melball Wrestling Talk. Right there, right there, right there. You can also find us over at SundayNightsMainEvent.com where we put up all of our Japanese wrestling content, excluding Japanese wrestling update because that is an OLE exclusive. You can find all of our coverage for New Japan, for Stardom, and for Mighty Gold, which will be coming up. Their big show is about you know, a week and a half. Uh, Summer Destiny. I'm super excited for that show. Yes. Uh, check all our, our Japanese wrestling content. Simulcast it in audio form over there. Sunday night's main event.com. If you want to support them, patreon.com slash SNME radio or go to choptees.com and click on the SNME radio uh, tab and go support them by buying some merch over there. I want to thank our friends over at OLE, like who I just talked about, Jet with a Japanese wrestling update. You can check them out twitch.tv slash our local establishment and youtube.com slash at our local establishment. Uh, I'm probably going to jump over to the YouTube right after this and watch a little bit of Honor Ramble uh, after we're done recording this. Uh, so mm -hmm. you can check them out. You can check me out this coming Wednesday, July 10th, hanging out with my boy, old Ed. We're going to be talking. We're doing Marvel Talk Returns with the MC Rebound as we go into Avengers Age of Ultron, baby. Let's go. We're coming back. Age of Ultron. The. the uh, a very underrated movie in the Marvel franchise. I I very much enjoy this movie. James James Spader, that that voice as Ultron, it's just so good. It's just so good. He plays yeah. such a good asshole. I know. So check it out. And then one more show to our boy Mike the Ref over at Backbreaker Video for Simon casting all of our stuff. YouTube.com slash at Backbreaker Video. You can find him live on Twitch Twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Uh, every Wednesday, Saturday, and pay per view Sunday, watching, uh, doing watch alongs of all the AEW uh, shows, whether it's Dynamite Collision or the the monthly pay per views. Check them out over there. And then, if you want, uh, you can also check them out many other days of the week playing video games over there. And if you want replays of him playing video games, go to youtubecom slash at backbreaker underscore gaming. You're gonna find content from him, Mister PJC. That guy right there, Mr. Rick Jules, and their frequent guest, Kayla J. Kayla J. Kayla J. Kayla J. Kayla J. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. I know you can't lift your arm too much. Melba, um, where can they find you? If you're willing to follow a Melba, you can follow her on the X thing at Collins Melba. You can follow her on everything else. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, and Blue Sky at Mel. 
Paul Collins. You can also find me on our local establishment programming, Japanese Wrestling Update with that guy on Friday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. And this week it actually is live at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Oh my god. And we got some yeah. news. We got some news, yeah. And we do have some news. We have some crazy news. So stay tuned to our socials to see the links for that. You can also catch me on Astro Bazaar's YouTube channel where we do our show, Ladies Wrestling Showcase. We are hoping to put on an episode very, very soon. She's been very, very busy with 4th of July, which is today. Happy 4th of July, everyone. As we um, this, yes, it is 4th of yes, July. Yes, yes. And you guys needed a lot of booze, which is why my friend is working so much. <laughs> Uh, but we will be putting out a show very soon. We have a lot to talk about, especially AEW, Stardom, kind of, and JPW news. So stay tuned to our socials to see when that is coming out. If you're wanting to, thank you. I forgot what next prompt I had. If you're wanting to catch a Love Wrestling show, you can go to their website, lovewrestling.ca, where you find their links to all of their shows, as well as the school, which is Clandestine Society. Clandestine Wrestling Society.com. So if you're wanting to become a professional wrestler, I assume a manager or referee as well, you can go check them out and see whenever their stuff is going on. Andre, what is that? Oh, oh. right. You can also catch that you take it over. I don't know this one. So if you want to watch some LPW but you can't get out there live, go to independentwrestling.tv for only $10 a month. You get access to LPW and so many more independent wrestling promotions. So check them out. Thank you. Because I was like, what, what is that one? Right. That was their filming thing. What their amazing production crew is all around there for. Mm -hmm. As well as Dash and Boris. Andre. I just friend and colleague. Do you have anything else to say to the beautiful people? Again, I just want to say thank all of you for joining us here. Uh, and especially thank you to Jason Rutledge for showing up at LPW. And I get a, finally got another picture with him. I think I got four pictures with him so far this year, which is far less than last year. But or no, I only got three pictures with him, but I've got four entered into the draw because I got pictures sent to me by other people from the uh, and we did see him in person at the AEW show so I am qualifying yeah, that did. even though we didn't take a photo with him I'm qualifying that because we, we saw it seen it in person so thank you Jason Rutledge for showing up and to everybody else photo. I don't I don't have one with, with me so I have video evidence. evidence of him being there we did the swerve dance no no I know no I'm saying he I know he's there I just don't have a photo with him but other people sent me photos of him in the costume so I'm entering it into the Jason Rutledge Copperplay award because <laughs> we took pictures with him in the lobby maybe on your phone <laughs> not on mine but what otherwise I, I want to twist but otherwise, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here. So if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, because we want to hear from you. We appreciate every kind word you drop to us. And don't forget uh, to share us out to your friends, family, and just wonderful other human beings in this world. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. <laughs> What the? Oh dear. And that being said, I am your mama. Over there is Andre. We will see you next time. Bye.